What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jared and today guys we're doing an unboxing of a new 6.0 Power Stroke degas bottle built by Rhino Diesel Products out in California. He is officially a sponsor of the 6.0 Bros YouTube channel. We are super excited to work with him. That's enough talk. Let's get to unboxing this product. We're getting started right now. But first, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up, and drop your comments down below. Can't wait to hear from you guys in the comment section. We have the degas bottle from Rhino Diesel Products. He is out in California. He made these for 7.3 power strokes. I reached out to him. Uh, this has been a long project in the making for us, but I'm super excited because I got to have some input on it, and I think you guys are really going to like it. Okay guys, so here it is. This is the degas bottle from Rhino Diesel Products. Um, man, this thing is awesome. By the way, link down in the description to his Instagram. That is the best way to contact him. Full disclosure, he is officially a sponsor to the 6.0 Bros. That, uh, just to throw that out there, guys, I always disclose that information to you. We work together on this project, so I am super excited. I am super proud of this but he's the one that really did all the work to make this the piece that it is, and it looks out of this world. So we're gonna talk about everything about this product, why I feel you should purchase this over some of the others on the market. And no, just because I had a say in this does not mean you should buy it. There's actually some really good reasons that we're gonna talk about right now. So first guys, we do away with the cap. This is something that he does on his 7.3 bottles, and it's a Gates blunt cap here, so it goes on. Uh, very heavy duty you're not going to have any issues also a nice feature he has you see this blue hose here this is going to go on here so if you do start puking coolant you're able to point this down and instead of covering your whole engine bay with coolant you're going to shoot it on the ground now something you will have to keep an eye on obviously you should always be keeping an eye on your coolant level so this is obviously finished in a nice powder coat. This is made of stainless steel. So very high quality material that he's using. This is the sight glass. The sight glass is right here. It does not come pre-installed, but it's just in this bag he sends along. So that'll be your sight glass. This is a demo. This is a demo version. This is what the finished product will look like. We are talking about making a few minor tweaks one of which I've already caught. We'll talk about that here shortly. For Josh's build, it won't affect anything, so there's no issue, but something we are gonna work that will change for models that you guys are purchasing. So I wanna talk about the sight glass here. With this, one of the things to keep in mind, guys, is that, so again, you have to screw this in, but this is set so that your coolant will, should you'll be able to see your coolant in this, that means you're full. That you don't we'll need to go higher than this. I will ask him exactly and I'll insert it somewhere here uh, or down in the comments if this video goes live before I hear from him. Obviously with some of the changes, like we have a pretty big sump down here and overall this is has more capacity than the factory one. It doesn't mean you necessarily want to overfill it either. So again, everything is made out of stainless steel, finished in powder coating. Now here, is one of the cool features. So if you notice this bung up here is welded in, or barb I guess, the barb is welded in. And then in the bag, you get either two, you get two barbs and a plug. So there are bungs welded in there to just screw in to it. So that you just put your sealant on the threads and screw each of them in down here and that'll allow you to do some customizing options here. So for instance, if you're running a coolant filter on your truck and you have the factory setup, you can actually run both of them right into your degas bottle instead of splicing any of your other hoses, you can run everything nice and neat out of the way and tuck it right into this piece here. Now, if you just have the factory setup and you need to, you just plug one and you're done, no issue at all. You could technically, now it only comes with one plug, but you could, you know, if you don't have a need for either of them, you could plug both of them and just run this one up to your radiator. 
But so that allows you guys to make those decisions though is the main point. Now there is one thing. Now on the models you guys purchase, this second one is going to be larger. I'm not sure if we'll do the front or the rear. Is going to be larger because it's going to need to be able to accommodate a coolant reroute kit. That is the point of why we have two here. Again, like I said, there will be some revisions to this. Not that's really I shouldn't say some. That's really the only revision I can personally think of for this is just to make the one larger to accommodate the additional flow. So basically this allows you to be completely customizable in your setup. You don't need to either splice into factory hoses to run your coolant reroute kits, which is what I've done. And don't get me wrong, I think my kit looks super, super nice. But if you wanted to go with a PSP or absolute performance coolant reroute kit, this will let you be able to plug it right into your degas bottle. Again, because one of these will be bigger in the one that you're purchasing. Now, before we get into the price of these, let's talk warranty. These are covered by a lifetime warranty, again, from Rhino Diesel Products. If there is any issues, he will take care of it. He stands by his product. One of the reasons he went with stainless steel over aluminum, which is very, very common, is he was looking for durability. He doesn't want to get hear about anyone cracking these or anything like that. He's looking for durability out of these. And I gotta tell you, this piece feels like it's gonna stand up to just about anything. Now, one other thing we talked about, if you notice we have a nice big flat edge here, it's because some that come out too far in this front region, so basically your air filter will sit right here. If I'm the truck, then here it's sitting here, your air filter's right here, I have seen some that protrude here and they bump into the air intake. With this, that's not going to be a problem at all. And that is why this piece is flattened out up here so that that is not an issue. I'm excited to see this on video to see if it does justice to just how nice of a piece this is. I am super excited. Again, these Gates caps, you can get these all over the place, not just from a Ford dealer. If it goes, we have this piece here, this tube, that you'll run your hose down and it'll keep your engine bay clean. Hopefully you're not blowing head gaskets. Hopefully now you're not blowing head gaskets on your six liter, but if you are, it does happen, unfortunately. This will help keep your engine bay clean. Not that that's the end of the world. It is one of those nice additional features to it. One thing he did say is he's working on covers to go over these caps. It's got a nice pop to it. It's gonna look killer under Josh's tow build. Now, don't get me wrong, these are not mandatory for six liters, guys. I'm not going to lie to you and say you need a metal degas bottle at all. I will say this, I have cracked two degas bottles in my white six liter. Now, it also took me a little while to find the leak in the truck. That was super frustrating to deal with. Now that I know about it, I know I, can fi I could find it, but this should eliminate that problem altogether. It is not entirely unheard of that the factory plastic degas bottle cracks at times. There's a lot of heat fluctuation in these trucks, guys, and a lot of pow a lot of vibrations and abuse that these guys things have to go through. The biggest argument for this is definitely this here. Or if you're just looking to dress up your engine bay, it's a really nice looking piece. I think a lot of you guys are gonna love it. And the final part, I believe these are gonna be priced at $385. That does include powder coating and everything you see here. That includes uh, both barb fittings here and the plug for if you're blocking one off. I do not speak for him at all. This was something that him and I talked about together and uh, kind of designed this, him and me both, with both of our input. I'm super excited with how it came out. It looks really sharp. I know I've said that a few times, but it does look killer. I hope you guys are excited about this. Again, this is going to go on Josh's tow build. The white truck is still down. There is an update coming soon to that. But this is going to go on Josh's truck. And man, I'm, I'm excited because it does look that good. I hope the camera is really picking up how good looking of a piece this is. For those of you guys that have been longtime subscribers or wonder how this came to be, I approached him about making a degas bottle when I saw his 7.3 bottles. I thought they looked really, really sharp. So I approached him about six liter degas bottles and he initially said no. Now fast forward several months after that, he actually then reached out to me and said, hey, what were you thinking? And he had bought a factory one to tear apart and start designing or coming up with ideas. And that's when him and I sat down, well, we had a phone call <laughs> and talked about it and came up with some of the features of this thing. 
Now, again, my part was previous experience with a poor fitting degas bottle that rubs on the intake. Thus why we have this flat piece up here. Wanting to be able to run a reroute kit right into the degas bottle, keep it nice and clean, just have it pop straight out and over. And I think he really nailed the product here. Again, this he's the one that did all the work. This These were just a few of my ideas and some of his come together to make this. So super proud of this product and what it is. I hope you guys enjoy it. Those of you guys that are in the market, I know it took a little bit of time. That's partially my fault, so bear with me. I hope you guys are still as excited about this as I am. Anyway, guys, drop your comments or questions down in the comment section. Uh, if there's any edits I need to make after the video, I will pin them in the comment section as well, guys. Thank you very much for staying tuned. Link to Rhino Diesel products down in the description. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up and drop those comments down below, guys. And I'll see you in the next upload.